um, good day viewers I hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this video from okay so uh, I want us to look at the 2022 mathematics paper 2 for external candidates and this question is specifically centered on the vectors okay Quadrinearity of vectors. So if you do follow my videos, I post um, a video some time back that was explaining how you can find the quadrinearity of what vectors. So let's see how we can answer this question that came in an exam. The position vectors of the points A, B, and C are you have this position vector negative one, negative two. You also have this and this. So this simply means this is your A, this is your B. And that is your T, your C. Show that the points A, B, and C are collinear. And it's carrying how many marks? Five. So, you have to ensure that you know to calculate the collinearity of the vectors so that you get these five T marks. Now, if you recall, there are many methods that you can use if you want to find the, or if you want to state that the points are collinear. There are many methods that you can use. So I'm going to use just um, a very simple method that even you, you can be applying, okay? But there are other methods that you can, you can use. Okay, thank you. Alright, so how can we answer it? So remember, these are position what? Vectors, okay? These are position vectors. So first, change them into coordinate form. So this A will be written like this, negative 1, comma, negative 2 in a coordinate form. Okay, then uh, our B will also be written as 3,6. Lastly, our C will be written as 9,18. So remember what I've said, there are many ways that you can use to state that the points are collinear. Okay, now in this case, I want to use a certain method that you refer in terms of what? Gradient. Okay, we are going to state that these points are collinear in terms of their gradient. So these lines, A, B, and C. They are lying on the same straight line like that. If you have point A, you have point B, then you have point what? C. And one thing we know is this is a straight line. And gradient in a straight line is what? Equal. So the gradient of AB will be equal to the gradient of what? BC. It will also be equal to the gradient of what? AC. Okay. So, we understand that M is representing gradient, 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 A, B, B, C, these are points. So, we are going to use this method, okay? So, here, let's rename our coordinates, X1, Y1, uh, this is our X2, Y2. So, I'll just say, what is the gradient of what? A, B. Remember, I have written the gradient of A, B. So, you find from here, you say, gradient of A, B equal to, for me, for finding gradient, we say, uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, like that. So the gradient of AB equal to what is uh, your y2? Remember, we're using these coordinates A and B, gradient of AB. So what is your y2 here? Your y2 is a 6 minus what is your y1? It is a negative 2. You put it in bracket like this over what is your x2? It's a 3. Minus, what is your x1? Here, it's a negative 1. Okay, so from here, you say gradient of AB equal to, from this side, you understand that you say negative times negative, you get a positive. So it's 6 plus 2, which will give you what? 8. Over, again here, negative, negative, you get a what? A positive. We are opening the brackets here. So 3 plus 1, you get a what? A 4. So, 4 into 8, it goes there many times, 2. So the gradient of AB is what? 2. Now, we said the gradient of AB should also be equal to the gradient of BC, or to the gradient of what? AC. So let's see, okay? Let's see. We can also use this, or we can use that. Any points there. So we are going to use this, the gradient of what? BC. So um, I'm going to wrap this side so that I create enough. Uh, space for working all right so uh we have found the gradient of a b which is a two let's find the gradient of b c so you say uh gradient of b c line b c line b c is equal to what so we are using these uh coordinates b and d c okay 
So I do hope that you are following. So if you're using these coordinates, uh, this one will be our x1, y1, x2, y2. The formula for gradient, we know that it's y2 minus y1. So in this case, your y2 is 18 minus, what is your y1 here? It's 6 over your x2 is 9 minus, what is your x1 here? It's a 3. So from here, 18 minus uh, 6, you are going to get what? You get a 12, okay, over 9 minus 3 you are going to get what? A 6. Okay? So, 6 into 12, because there are many times 2. So, uh, from there, we can see that the gradient of um, line AB here, the gradient is 2. Even from BC, the gradient is also what? 2. Okay? So, just using these two points, we are able to see that these points, A, B, and C, they are collinear because uh, the gradient of AB and the gradient of BC they are the same, they are the same. So just make a statement here. Therefore, the points, the points A, B, and C are collinear. Okay, because, okay, so just uh, allow me to rub here. Uh, because, because, because gradient of AB is equal to gradient of BC. That's all. So from uh, these workings, to be given the five marks. Okay. So this is how you can answer this question. Remember what I've told you? There are other methods that you can uh, use. Okay? And in our previous video, we did uh, use those methods. Okay? Where we said you can also use the scalar multiplier of the RT, the position vector. So now here we are just using the uh, gradient of the points. Okay? So, thank you so much everyone for having time to view this content. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to invite your friends to, to subscribe also so that they can learn with us with more content that will be uploaded.